Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new here, welcome back. If you have been here before and thank you for coming back. I am Freya and this is Budgie Budgets where we are trying to create financial security for our beautiful family using a zero-based budgeting system in combination with cash envelopes. Um, it's Wednesday, you guys. And on Wednesdays, we cash stuff. And it's an exciting Wednesday because this week is a golden paycheck for us. So it's an extra paycheck in the month. And we don't use this paycheck to pay anything that's direct debited, basically. So any of our regular bills that come out monthly, like rent, health insurance, uh, internet, things like that. So that means that we have a bit of extra money to play with um, in our cash envelopes, which is really exciting. Uh, so let's see what we're working with. It should be just over a thousand dollars. So we've got one, two, three hundred. The silly ATM only gave me old hundreds, and I'm really sad about it. Um, so fifty one, fifty two hundred and fifties. I'm sorry if you can hear my birdie going crazy. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty two. Two twenty, two forty, two sixty in twenties. Um. Yeah, she's generally <laughs> she's generally a very happy bird, um, but she's very unhappy when I'm not in the room with her still. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Um, yes, and she likes to let everybody know just exactly how unhappy she is. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50, 55, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, and 140 in fives. My daughter did give me back a, a five that she took with her to the shops on the weekend, so it's all been all crinkled up in her wallet but that's okay we will live okay so we have one thousand and ninety dollars that we are cash stuffing in total today Woohoo! Um, now i have done some unstuffing uh, so my envelopes look a little bit different to my last video um, and that is because after this cash stuffing uh, subscriptions is just getting 10 so that's 210 in there now. That did have 250. I took 50. We had a bit of a spendy start to the week. So I took 50 out to pay for a, an app subscription that I have. Um, after I do this cash stuffing, I want to do a cash condensing and end of month totals. And I wanted them to be accurate. So I didn't want to wait until next Monday to unstuff what I knew that we had already spent, if that makes sense. Uh, water is getting 20. Um, yeah, so I'll just mention them as we go through. As and when I remember what I've unstuffed. Uh, so water now has 51, 140. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want them to be all, to be overinflated for my end of month totals, if that makes sense. Uh, gas is getting, uh, sorry, not gas, electricity is getting 50. Um, I did get an email from my electricity company offering me a cheaper plan. Love that. Uh, so that's got two, 250, 350, 400 now. Uh, so they think that our monthly spend is going to go down and I sh it kind of looks like I should need about $40 a month, a week, sorry, instead of 50. So I think I will, I think I'll still put 50 in alternating weeks because I don't trust them that much. <laughs> like I feel like, I feel like it will still go up. Uh, gas is getting 50 as well. Um, yeah, they sent me an email being like, oh, Gas is expensive, but your electricity is going down slightly. So, uh, so that now has 200, 300, 400, 450, 470 in there. Um, and we will get for electricity, we will get that. Was it, I think it's $300 from the federal government. I know Queensland just got a thousand dollars from their government. And I am so jealous. Um, we're getting nothing this time around because the Victorian government is basically broke. Um, so yeah, we're not getting any help from them. Normally they do a $250 thing in July, but not this year. Uh, not that I know of anyway. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Uh, so 200, 250, 270, 290. Mm, well, I really have to think about that. 300, <laughs> 310, 320 in phones now. Thank goodness. Brain fade. I am feeling a little bit rushed this morning. <laughs> um, uh, home's another one that I unstuffed and it's not getting anything today because we spent some money 
Uh, I cannot for the life of me now remember what it was for. Uh, but it was $10 in there that came out and it would have been getting five today, but it's not. Um, security, however, is getting five. I do need to come through here and do a massive condensing. Um, yeah, I'm feeling, I should have plenty of time. I'm feeling a little bit rushed this morning because I'm going out with my aunt today. Uh, so that's got 20, 40, 50 and 60 in there now uh, to see if we can find a dress for her 70th birthday party. So that's cool. Be good. Uh, now, garden is getting 100. I am not going to colour all of those in because you'll be here forever. Um, I might colour them in later maybe. Or I might just leave it because I'm pretty sure that 100 is going to be spent really, really quickly. It's in there because um, if you remember... Um, our whippersnipper died in a very theatrical way a few weeks ago. Uh, so we are going to have to replace that in the coming week or two. So yeah, I feel like it's probably not much point. Um, coloring it in, whoops. Buffer is just getting a five. So that now has 10, 20, 35 in there. And that, I need to come in and update these totals before I do my end of month too. That is all for that one. <gasps> Guys, I remembered the marker. <laughs> okay, car insurance is just getting 25. I'm just gonna sneak little extra bits into this when I can, I think. <laughs> Even if it's only a five here and there, cause it does need to be, we need a lot more money in there than is currently in there. Uh, like a lot and a lot. So we currently have 220, 40, 60, 80, 95. Well, that's going to be annoying for cash condensing, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Oh, well. Uh, registration. Oh, I still didn't color those in properly. Whoops. Is going to get 15. Uh, I'll do this now, but I'll just skip it. Okay, so that uh, would help if I put the money in. It's getting 15, so that has 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 305. And 290 will be coming out of that in the next week or two. Because our bill is due, service is getting 10. Oh, just drawing myself. So that now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 105. Tires is getting a five. Uh, and I can't color that in until I've got a 10. Oops. License is getting 15. has 20 40 50 60 75 that's good it's coming along coming along I think we'll do a Monday and minis for that one too just to bump it up that little bit more so that is all of our car envelopes moving along to our life binder uh, clothes is getting 40 It's nice to actually have some money in this envelope. Although hubby has his eye on this really nice jacket. Um, which I think would wipe this envelope out again. <laughs> Always the way. I put that in there tonight. So it's got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105. So that is good. Uh, shoes is also getting 40. Oh, it's been really nice not to have to buy some shoes for a little while, but I'm sure it's coming. 
Um, my daughter is still just growing and growing and growing. My oldest, she's taller than me now, which is a bit, well, she's probably about the same, but I think she will be taller than me, even if it's just through sheer force of will. <laughs> okay. So that now has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, which again is nice to have a bit in there. Hair is just getting a five, so we won't color anything in there for now. Uh, skincare is getting 10. Um, what will we color? I think we'll color the cream and the label. Let's do that. Like that. Um, what else is getting some love in here? Gifts is getting some love. That's getting a 20. Thank goodness. We're actually building up a bit of money in here for once. Not that it will probably last long. My daughter has two birthdays this weekend and I don't have presents yet. So I have to go and do that as well. So that's got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75 in there now. Which like, yeah, is good, but really, that's only a couple of presents, isn't it? It doesn't go very far. Uh, work is getting skipped, super is getting skipped, moving is getting skipped, mojo is just getting a 10 so that we can finally finish off this one. Love that. So that now has 200, 300, and 10 and 15 in there. So that's just like our account buffer. Um, if we need to spend money that's in our envelopes, so that we don't use the credit card basically so that we can spend it out of the account not have to worry and just put it back in when we take our uh, envelopes out okay oh, this one doesn't want to stay open for me uh, so doctors is just getting 10 I'm just gonna drip feed this one fives and tens to build it all the way up to 500 and then I think I'll slow down um, and just replenish it when I need to so 200 400 and 10 20 30 in that one medications is just getting a five uh, so this one is separate to chemist just because every six months or so i have to do a big top up of my medications also um, one of my daughters takes melatonin each night to help her sleep um, and i usually buy about six months worth at a time so i just find that every six months i seem to have this massive outlay and i'm never prepared for it so that's why i've given it its own envelope so that has 20 45 in there now and i think yeah it'll probably just get five dollars a week or five dollars a fortnight and that should be enough to kind of um buffer that ambulance is being skipped dental is getting 10. I still haven't made my appointment and I really need to. Uh, so that's got 250, 60, 70, 80, 280 in there now, which is a pretty good amount. I think that should be enough for like a checkup and a clean, I hope. Uh, specialist is being skipped. Optical is just getting five, but I realized I've already colored in too many. So there's 20 in there now, but I won't color one in. Um, skin check is getting 10 because I do want to get mine done sooner rather than later. And Hubby's due for his checkup as well. So it's got 50, 60, 70 in there. Um, if this is taking too long, I will use this one for Hubby's checkup and I'll just take mine out of doctors. Uh, and orthodontic is getting five. Again, this is one that we're just going to drip feed in because um, we don't need it quite yet, but we will need it sooner rather than later for my youngest, I'm quite sure. And my son needs to go back for a checkup in about probably 10 months now or so. Okay, so that's all for our medical binder. I'm just going to make sure that I'm still filming all good. Yes. All right. School. Let's see what we can do in here. So school is going to get uh, 20. 
which is good. I actually feel like we've got a bit of money in here for once. So that has got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. Nice. Um, uniforms is getting 20 as well, I think. Yep. Um, so, you guys, sorry, I'm a bit scattered this morning. I've had a morning already. It's only like 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's been a day. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know when you feel like it's been a big week and it's only Monday? Uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 120, 130 in school uniforms now, which is good because that will cover any school shoes we need as well. Um, anyway, so I reopened, I think tennis is getting skipped. Uh, that got unstuffed as well. There was 135 in there and it would have been getting five today, but I've paid it. So that's, um, not getting anything. Swimming is getting 20. Um... Yeah, so I reopened my Etsy on Saturday afternoon and you guys were on it. Like, I didn't even put it on my Instagram. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even, it was sneaky. I didn't even tell anyone. Uh, this has 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 60 in there now, which is good. Um, and you guys were on it. So I got about 200 envelopes worth of orders in like two hours. Uh, so I had to take them back down, you guys. I had to take the listings back down uh, because I am only one person. Um, and I don't want you guys waiting forever for your orders. So um, yeah, so I have taken a lot of physical listings back down again. Uh, school station, I got 20, now has 50, 70, 85. Um, I did put that in there, right? I think I did. Um, oh no, at the end. And, um, these are all getting skipped. School holidays, whoops, school holidays is just getting a 10. Uh, so I won't color that in because I was going to make these 20s now. So that's got 20, 30, 40, and 50 in there now. Um, yeah, so I think I did put up a poll on Instagram. I'm sure a lot of you already saw it and or voted. Um, the, it was pretty fairly split between just leaving it as what I'm doing and making it, making a release date. So I think what I'm going to do is make either a monthly, depending on how many orders I have going at the time or four, I think four, I think I'll aim for fortnightly. So every two weeks I will have a release date and time. If you want to let me know below, um, vet is just getting $10. If you want to let me know below what days you would prefer a release on and what kind of time of day, and then I'll just do it like that. I'll just go, right, I'm releasing this many at this time until they sell out. And then once they're sold out, the listing will disappear. Um, and then I'll you do that again. That way, you I, th I guess everyone knows what time it's going up. It seems like a bit of a fairer way to do it rather than just doing it at random. And if you happen to be on Etsy checking, then you're in luck kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I think that that's how I'll do it moving forward. I just have to work out the nuts and bolts, the details. But look, the envelopes probably won't be going up for at least another week, maybe two weeks, because I have a lot on the go. Um, and same with placeholders, just because they take me the longer. So I've left trackers up and savings game. So if you want to order any of those, that's fine because they're quite quick for me to get. But envelopes, I really need to get into a rhythm. I kind of work at like a production line. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. And I do also need to order more vinyl as well, which is why I've taken them down for now. So uh, Vet now has 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 220 in there. Um, yeah, I just, I couldn't quite believe it. I, and then I felt really bad. I felt, I feel really guilty, you guys, because I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to put them up for like a hot second. And then, you know, by the time you get to look at it, they're already gone again. That's not very nice. Um, so, and I don't want anyone to feel pressured. So please don't feel pressured because I will, I'm not going to take them down for good. I will keep putting them back up. It's literally just a, just a matter of how many I can get processed at any given time. Um, $5 into Puplements, which is like our little anxiety and skin supplements for our doggies. And they're, oh no, that's not getting stuffed today. No, it's not because it's already ahead. So that's fine. But their Toys and Treats is getting a five as well. Um, 
It is my oldest dog's birthday today. She is turning nine. And she is my baby. Uh, it scares me that she's getting old because I'm literally not sure how I'm going to do life without her. Um, I mean, she's still quite healthy and everything. Like, she's always been an old dog. She's very lazy and cuddly and <laughs> all of that sort of thing. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so it's her birthday, which is cool. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> back to what I was saying. Um, and I can't remember what I was saying. Um, but, yeah, if you do want anything from my store, please don't worry. I... I also have in the works some new things, which I'm hoping our family fund is getting a 20. As you can see, there was about 70 in there. I took out 50 because we went, oh, and I need to clean off that tracker. I'm going to leave that out so I can clean that off. Uh, so $40 in there now. Um, sorry, my brain is like gone on the biggest tangent. So we went roller skating on the weekend. That's why that money's gone. So my daughter had a roller skating party and my older two decided they wanted to come as well. First time my son has been roller skating since he broke his tooth when he was like eight. Um, so that was really cool. It was like watching a baby giraffe, um, <laughs> but, but he did awesome. Um, so I have taken the money out of nails because obviously I'm not going to be doing them at the moment. I put that towards dates because hubby and I took out an extra 10 when we went to the movies um, just for like food and stuff. Um, so this is getting 10 today as well. So there's 15 in there. Um, yeah, but I'm hoping on Friday I'll be able to do a savings challenge video and also release some new products if I can. I'm, I'm literally just doing them at night time when I should be not doing anything so that I can try and have them uh, done ready in time but without it impacting the other thing, the other orders that I have to do. Um, this is voiceover Freya, uh, because when I was editing, I realized that uh, whilst I knew exactly what I was trying to say here, it didn't really, I didn't really say what I meant. Um, and it would have been confusing for you guys. So what I was talking about is having to make some changes to how I do custom envelopes. And when I say custom envelopes, I mean envelopes with varied backgrounds, like yeah, different, you know, different patterned backgrounds and um, vinyls with pictures added and things like that. So the, the stock standard, just gingham background and vinyl label envelopes, that's not what I'm talking about here. They will be a staple in my store. Obviously the gingham envelopes will be a staple in my store. They have kind of become uh, my brand basically. But the other ones, whilst I do really, really enjoy making them for you guys, I really do. Um, and I love how they look and I love how they turn out. They're just a little bit too time consuming at the moment for me to do, especially on larger orders. Like when I'm doing you know, five or eight here and there. It's not a terribly big deal when it's a significantly larger order um, and there's a lot of customization involved. It just, unfortunately, it just takes up. It's just so much time that I um, that I put into it. And whilst I do enjoy it, I, I just don't, I just don't really have enough spare time with the other orders that are coming in for, you know, my regular. <laughs> Sorry, you can probably hear Bluebell in the background. She's just happily eating away. Uh, and not squawking for once because I'm in the room with her. Yeah, when it when it's a larger when it's a larger order, it's it's just taking me far far too much time, which is slowing me down with other orders, which is meaning that I keep having to remove physical items from the Etsy store, and um, and also means that it's it's um, difficult for me to then release new products, which is what I really want to do. I really want to make um, like the Christmas binders and other binders for you guys and. Yeah, and really some other products. I've got lots of ideas in my head. I've always got lots of ideas in my head, um, but I just I'm just really low on uh, time to get them done. Obviously, I'm you know <laughs> my life was busy before I started Budgie Budgets, and um, and now that I'm trying to do YouTube and also run the store and have three kids and a whole host of health issues, it's just I just have to be really really careful with my time management. So I think I'll, I'll have a bit more of a think about it. I think I just won't take orders for them at the moment until I kind of get my head around it a little bit. But I think what I might do is maybe just open up one, you know, depending on how many other orders I have in that month, maybe just order, or like open up one slot for custom envelopes, like custom patterns in that month. Um, 
in, you know, for a certain amount of envelopes so that I'm never doing too many of them at one time. Um, yeah, just because of the amount of time that they take up basically. Um, yeah, and then I think I might do like a permanent listing for custom ones for like anniversaries, New Year's Eve, um, birthdays, things like that, that just have a set background and maybe a different vinyl than I usually use. Uh, and I will just have them listed separately in Etsy so you can just buy those as, as kind of like individuals. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway, I will let you get back to the video. I hope I haven't waffled on for too long. Um, so Christmas is getting 50 and that should finish this tracker. So we've got 15 and five and another five and another 15 and a 10. Right, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40 and $50. dollars um, yeah, it's kind of a shame because like I, I love doing it, but also at the volumes that I'm currently doing it, it's um a little bit stressful. Um so yeah. Um okay, we'll get that one to dry. And then this one's finished, guys. <gasps> so this is five hundred dollars saved for Christmas. And what I am going to do is unstuff this on Friday. Um, in my savings challenge video and then I'm going to show you guys the exciting new way that I will be saving for Christmas and that will also be a new product for my Etsy store which will be very exciting um, 15 in that one and then 10 is the lucky last. Um, yay. When I stop taking envelope orders for a little while, I will make these binders. If people still want them, let me know below if you're still interested. Um, I, do, I will have other things, yeah, to show you on Friday, hopefully, um, as well, which will be super cool. Well, I think they're super cool. <laughs> Um, so that's $500 saved for Christmas. So we will reallocate that into these Christmas envelopes. Um, these are sticky because I changed the vinyl on them and I didn't clean them properly because I am a silly pants McGee. Um, yeah, we'll reallocate that into that and then we'll start saving for Christmas again in my fun new Christmas savings challenge. Woohoo! All right, so I'll pop that off to the side and then we're nearly done, you guys. We are on the home stretch. Thank you for sticking with me if you have. Um, so my son's birthday is getting uh, 200 and, whoops, 210. All right. I will speed this up and be right back. Okay, so now we have in here 100, 250, 260, 270, 280, which means there's 20 to go to give us $300, which will be his birthday money, which is awesome. So glad to have that filled back up because his birthday is coming up in September. Uh, my oldest birthday is getting a hundred and which is in 250. So we'll do these. Okay, so that now has 50, 100, 120, 130, 140, 145. Her birthday isn't until January. So we are all good there. And that is everything for today. So we should have left, hopefully, if I've done everything right, $70. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5. Are you kidding me? How have I done that again? <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh, no. Do you know what? That 5. That five is meant to go, whoops, into my youngest birthday. It's all good. I was gonna say, that's two weeks in a row that I've like missed $5 somewhere. That is okay, that is meant to go into her birthday. Phew, okay, so we have 20, 30, 
40 50 dollars now in her birthday and that is the actual end of our cash stuffing for today so that 70 dollars will be going into savings challenges that will happen on friday i will be filming a separate video with savings challenges um the reallocation of my christmas binder and the introduction hopefully of some new products um, somewhere in there will also be a cash condensing of my binders because obviously they desperately need it. And also we will do our end of month. I do also think I'm going to be reallocating this little lovely. Um, I'm still really, I'm still really on the fence about it. Um, but I want to be able to condense this money. I want it in the bank earning interest. I don't want it in cash. Um, so I have some ideas. I have some ideas, you guys some things are going to be happening so make sure you come back on friday it's going to be an excellent video i think we're going to have some fun with savings games we're going to have some fun with some new products we're going to reallocate some money and re-strategize our budget a little bit um and yeah cash condensing will either come out thursday or saturday i will see how i'm going for time but thank you so much for joining me today if you are interested in anything on etsy please keep an eye on my instagram i will do my very best to actually announce on there when i'm going to be reopening for orders alternatively keep an eye on my etsy announcement i do usually put something up on there i do need to update that now i'll do that before this video goes up um to keep an eye on what's happening there yeah anyway i hope you guys are having a brilliant week i hope the sun is shining where you are it's beautiful here today thank goodness it was horrible over the weekend um Oh, it was horrible over the last couple of days. Um, but yeah, have a wonderful week and I will see you either tomorrow or on Friday. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying watching my thing. If you can hit a like, it's the easiest way for me to know that you have enjoyed my video. And as always, please leave a comment because I'd love to have a chat. Bye bye guys. Love ya.